Hi guys, what am I doing today? So basically this is what's going on. Um, went camping uh, for quite some time now and I've been using this generator and the first couple times that I used it, it was fine. I was able to use my um, microwave to microwave uh, stuff inside the RV. Uh, but as time goes by, what it is is this little thing right here. This is called the breaker, AC breaker. It's right at 13 amp. It keeps, uh, it keeps popping out, resetting. So I have to manually go back and press this in to reset it. So what I did was I used this little plug right here, which is designed to use 120 volt or 240 volt um, AC. Uh, so being that it keeps popping out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this. I'm gonna replace both of these with uh, a different kind of, uh, well, a, uh, a heavier duty um, breaker switch. And I, I'm gonna use uh, 20 amps. Notice it's 13 amps. I'm gonna upgrade these to 20 amps so they won't pop out anymore. And I realize that, you know, many folks might not agree with what I'm doing and that I should stick with 13 amps, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with 20 amps. And this is my documentary on how to switch out old uh, breaker and put new breakers in and upgrading it to 20 amps. So this is what I got. So this is what I got. I bought these from eBay. This is rated at 20 amps. And I bought a lot of three for about 11 bucks. So it's here. I'm gonna re be replacing it with this unit right here. And uh, I've already begun taking, removing this out here. As you can see, that's how that looks like right here. And you know, and that go, that's how it looks like right there. So to remove this, you have to uh, take out this little washer or lock washer or nut right here. Okay, just pop this out like this. Okay, once that that's popped out, all you need to do is unscrew this, unscrew this. And then uh, screw this thing in, and that's pretty much it. And I'll show you how it goes. Okay, so basically, what you do is you remove this right here. Okay, as you look here, this is this goes to the the big plug right here. Okay, the top one. And so what you do is you unscrew this it's really easy anybody can upgrade this now I know you're not supposed to do this uh, to upgrade this to a 20 amp and most people would jeer at this uh, most uh, electrician will say ah don't do that you're gonna risk a fire but you know what it's mine. Okay, so, um, and if you're gonna do this, don't don't blame me if yours catch on fire, okay? Um, but uh, do it on your own risk. I'm just doing this because um, I feel this is the best method for me so that this thing won't trip. Okay, wait, okay, so. Okay, so being that, let me see. This thing won't go in. Okay, so as you look here, this thing has some already uh, threads that's already made in here. This thing doesn't have it. So this thing calls for me to put a little wire uh, connector onto here, adapt this and plug it, put it in like that. Okay, pause it. Okay, so what I did was I uh, modified the uh, connectors here. 
I cut the old connectors out and I put these little plugs here now they can plug in like that okay so we don't have to worry about the thing uh, coming loose so now all I need to do is put this back in okay but to do that let me put this here okay and then it comes with this little ring here okay Why is it this going in? Oh, okay. I got it. Alright. So. That's because I wasn't doing it right. Okay, so. This thing goes in like that. And then. This thing goes in like this. So now. That's as easy as ABC. Okay, so now we got this done. Okay, all I need to do is put this back here. And what I found out is that this is the, this is too short. So now I'm gonna have to expand this wire a little bit more, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what's going on, guys. We found out that this wire is too uh, too short, and addition in addition to being too short, it's too small for my application. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, upgrade this wire here uh, to a to a bigger gauge wire, like this one right here. Okay. Um, ideally, you would want to upgrade this wire too, but being that this is connect. This is connected to all the wirings from the generator. I'm not gonna even touch this. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna expand this a little bit. So um, I'm gonna make do with what I have. And so now I've taken this off. Okay, I've removed this. And as you can see here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out like that. In addition to that, there's that wire cutter. I'm gonna snip these zip ties. Okay. And okay, so the zip tie is off. And basically, I'm gonna make a connector similar to this. Okay. I'm gonna copy this. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what I've done. See, this is the original connector right here. Okay. And then this is the upgraded connector. See the difference in gauge? Okay. So, um, basically, this goes back in here where it was before. I know you won't see what I'm doing, but uh, if you have one, you know exactly where I am. Okay, so that's done on that side. Okay, so then this goes here. Okay, uh, sorry, mistake here. It should have been a, uh, a female connector. So, um, this is how you uh, make these connections, connectors. Cut that off, put this in, 
wire, twist this, put this in. Okay, being that it's a little bit, it's a bigger gauge, I'm gonna have to do this. Okay, so then it goes in. Okay, so that goes in. So I'm gonna have to cut these little copper wires like that. Okay. So now that's good. Okay. So then take your wire crimper. Crimp it like that. It's good. Okay. So I'm gonna go back here. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here. Okay, so basically we're 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 good. Okay. So that's tight. The uh this thing's good. On my spare time I'm gonna replace this wire right here. Basically this wire goes to this part right here. Okay, it go, and then goes into the generator here, and uh, I'll replace that later. But for right now, this is good, and uh, zip ties. So because I took out the, I uh, cut the old zip ties out. I'm gonna use this. This is my aftermarket zip ties. Just tie it like that, and then. Tie this like this. Okay. So then, cut this off like yeah, like this, like yay. And then, what you do? Is you uh, put this back. Take this little piece right here, the nut. Back in, this nut right here. Put it back in. There, and you should be able to run your AC now. And your, this time the, uh, and the microwave should run okay and it probably will not, will not reset anymore. Uh, these right here, I'm not going to change. This is a 20 amp right here. This is a 13 amp. Uh, this is for the, the, the smaller ones right here, so I'm not even going to worry about this. I thought that this thing was going to handle uh, my microwave, but it didn't. So now, uh, because I've changed the uh, uh, the amperage on this one right here, it should work fine. And I'm going to test it later. So now, just put everything back in and everything should work well. So thanks for watching.